What's the best probiotic for a woman? We'll explore that today, and I'll share with you my favorites. Hey, I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. Before we begin, please remember to hit the subscribe and the like button if you like the content here. That helps the channel grow. Took a little bit of a hiatus, but I'm back here, so I'd love your support. And I'd love for you to share the channel also. So we are going to be talking today about women's probiotics. Probiotics. I know I've talked about this before, um, but it's always good to have a revisit with probiotics because there's constantly new things coming on the market. There's constant changes in research and there's things, different things that I try that I like and that I use with my patients and myself. So I want to share that to you as it all evolves. So I am Shelly Meyer. I'm a doctor, a functional medicine, a family practice doctor, a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and I have my own practice in Denver, Colorado. And then I have this channel where I share information and videos about hormone and gut health. So today we're kind of covering a little bit of both because women's hormones are affected by our gut health. They're all interconnected. And if you want to explore that connection more, just dive deeper into my channel. I have a lot of videos on hormone health and gut health. So I help women and men, but I have a lot of videos on women, um, balance their gut, balance their hormones, and feel better. So let's dive in a little bit into um, the women's health probiotics that I do like, but let's first dive into what a good probiotic would look like. So if you've seen any of my prior probiotics videos, I'll link some above here. I have said that I like multiple strains of probiotics within one blend. So yes, you could go out and buy single strains, but I think it's better to have a blend of lacto and bifido probiotics. For women, I think it's best to look for one if you're if you're talking about vaginal health and hormone health and UTI protection, I think it's better to go with something with acidophilus in particular um I mean, sorry, lactobacillus, in particular, lactobacillus acidophilus, but also something we don't talk about as much, some strains, lactobacillus rhamnosus and lactobacillus um, ruteri. There's also bifido strains. So I like a good probiotic to have both lacto strains and bifido strains within the blend that I'm talking about. So there's bifido brevi and bifido lactis that I'm going to focus on a bit today. So stay to the end and I'll tell you why I like these, how I like them blended together and some brands I've been trying, in particular one of my favorite brands, but stay to the end and I have a discount code for you too. So it's also good when you're looking for a probiotic to look for allergens. Many of my patients have dairy allergens, I mean dairy allergies. So you want to look within your probiotic on the label to see if there's any dairy because there are non-dairy options available. We also want to consider if you're sensitive to prebiotics. If you've been paying attention to my channel recently, I've talked a lot about SIBO and I will continue to do so. What that stands for is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Also, the terms used now are intestinal methanogen overgrowth. So that's if you have a methane, what we used to call methane SIBO. Now they call intestinal methanogen overgrowth. Basically what that means in the upper intestine, small intestine, we can have imbalance um, and we can have bloating and gas and diarrhea and constipation and all kinds of things, food sensitivities, all related to the SIBO or IMO. If you want to check, if you have any of those symptoms, you want to dive deeper, check out my um, SIBO videos. So how that relates to probiotics is, first of all, in general, probiotics can trigger more bloating and gas if your SIBO is untreated. So if you find you have trouble with any kind of probiotic, dive into those videos. I also have an ebook that I will link at the end. But in, in particular with your probiotics, a lot of probiotics have prebiotics built into them and built into the blend, which is great because prebiotics are kind of food for our good bacteria and they help, you know, also build on the fibers that we eat and help feed the gut. And it's a very good idea. But if you do have SIBO or IMO, you could have worsening symptoms particularly from prebiotics. Now, what do prebiotics look like? They look like on the labels XOS, GOS, FOS. Those all stand fructo, xylo, uh, galacto, oligosaccharides. If you know anything about FODMAPs, you know that you're avoiding those oligosaccharides. And the FODMAPs is a kind of diet, and I talk about that a lot in my videos. 
And FODMAPs is a kind of diet to follow when you're having the, the IBS or SIBO symptoms, and it helps to calm those down. So basically, a lot of great probiotics are packed with prebiotics, XOS, FOS, GOS, that can trigger SIBO symptoms. And it's kind of a, a sign if you um, do take those probiotics that have the prebiotics in them and you do get worse, take a look at your label. Does it have XOS, FOS, inulin? That's a very common one. Inulin is a very common one found in um, a lot of keto protein bars or, or energy bars and a lot of low carb kind of food. Inulin is good for us in a lot of ways. It feeds that good bacteria. It's great, but those of us with SIBO, and I've suffered with SIBO, can feel terrible when we eat inulin or have it in our prebiotics and our probiotics. I, that's one of the reasons I found out that I had SIBO was because of the terrible bloating that I had with like a Lara bar. Um, oh no, not a Lara bar, um, a kind bar, sorry. And kind bars are great. They have a lot of good nutrition in them, but they do have a lot of inulin in them which for those of us with SIBO can trigger symptoms. So just pay attention to that when you're looking at a probiotic. So I am going to talking, well, I already went over kind of what I was going to go over in a few minutes. So I skipped ahead with the what prebiotics do and what they can trigger. So again, if you're looking for more information on that, dive into my um, SIBO videos and my SIBO ebook that the link is available in the description. But let's now talk about one of my favorite new blends, and it's called Wise Human Women's Daily Probiotic. They have some other options too, but it's a daily, women's daily, this is the da women's daily option. So they sent that to me because they had seen um, my videos on where I talked about the Garden of Life, which is still a great option. And I was really, really impressed with this brand um, because it has nine strains of both bifido and lactido, lacto. Um, types of, of probiotics. It has bifidolactis. I will focus on the label here. I'll put a screenshot up, up of there. But it has bifidolactis, which um, help us digest lactose and sugars and fibers and can lower our blood sugar. So with women in particular, when our um, hormones change, sometimes we can get some glucose intolerance, some insulin resistance. I mean, men get it too. But as we age, sometimes we get into perimenopause that I talk about a lot in my videos and on my channel too. And menopause, we can get a little bit more insulin resistant sometimes. So this would be a good strain for that. Bifido brevi, which is some small studies can show that it helps to lose weight. I never want to promise any kind of silver bullet or anything with weight loss because it's very complicated as you probably know if you've tried to lose weight it can be your hormones it can be your gut it could be your genes you know there's a lot of things that can can complicate a, a clear path to weight loss and that's why it's been such a conundrum in our society that we can't solve with calories in versus calories out it's not that simple but Strain. Sometimes these little studies can come out with these little golden nuggets where bifido brevi has, has, has had some small studies that show that it helps you lose weight and it can boost your immunity and help regulate your um, bowels, which makes sense. So like help be more regular. So that's another huge benefit for women and men too. So lactobacillus acidophilus is in many, many, many of the um, women's health uh, combos of probiotics. So you're going to see it in this too. And that is because it helps improve vaginal health and decrease yeast infections and sometimes with UTI risk as well. Lactobacillus rhamnosus, same kind of thing, helps lower um, yeast infections. Bacterial vaginosis is something women struggle with a lot and imbalance. It's basically an imbalance in the microbiome of the vagina. Now, this strain, this lactobacillus rhamnosus, you, if you're suffering with BV, you want to make sure you have a probiotic that has that in there. And then it can also your lower your recurrence of UTI. And I find that very, very helpful. And I always recommend a women's probiotic that has lactobacillus rhamnosus in there to my patients with BV or UTI. We also have lactobacillus gasseri, um, which yeah, could help reduce gas based on the name, but they've also found in studies that it can have some psychotropic um, effects on, or reduce the psychotropic effects of leaky gut. So sometimes when we have leaky gut, when we have SIBO, when we have imbalance in our microbiome, um, we can have some depression, some anxiety. So they have done some studies with probiotics around um, psychotropic, what we say, like, or 
but this, I guess, like neurotransmitter imbalance, um, mood imbalance, and some of them can be helpful, and l is one of them. Also, this is an interesting one, they did find that it could decrease visceral fat. Visceral fat is tricky. It's the fat we don't see. It surrounds our organs. It causes increased risk for heart disease, increased risk for diabetes, insulin resistance, all that chronic disease that we really want to stay away from. So potentially, with balancing our microbiome and getting more um, um, of this probiotic, lactobacillus gastri, we could reduce this this visceral fat, which is really, really tricky. And some studies showed that it just decreased body fat in general. Great. Why don't we use more of that? <laughs> so lactobacillus ruteri. This is great f- that this probiotic has lactobacillus ruteri in it because it um, is hard to find sometimes. And I find that super helpful for fighting SIBO. So if you are fighting SIBO and looking for something to balance your um, your female health, your hormones, your vaginal health, this would be a great option. And then this this strain, lactobacillus ruteri, can also lower inflammation, which is really high um, a lot of times when we are having some imbalance in our gut or in our hormones. So another great thing about this. It's also, does it's allergy, I mean, not allergy-free. It is allergen-free, yes, but you do not have to refrigerate it. So it comes in these, um, this is a new pack. I already took the other pack. So it comes in these blister packs. So whenever you see a probiotic in these blister packs, that means you don't have to refrigerate it. You know, you can refrigerate it. Let's say you buy in bulk and you want um, a package to last longer. You can refrigerate it, but it's pretty well protected in these blister packs. So it's very easy to travel with, which is nice. So also allergen-free. You're not going to have to worry about the dairy. Um, It's also gluten-free, which is great. It does have some gel and gum in there. So it's gluten-free. But um, the gum in there sometimes with SIBO can trigger. But another thing about SIBO with this product is you, if you're having SIBO, skip this product. I hate to say anything disparaging, and it's not disparaging for this product in particular. It just has XOS in there. It has one of the prebiotics, which makes it a good probiotic because you're feeding that good bacteria. But, you know, it also can be difficult to... To digest or it has it creates that SIBO symptoms if you're having SIBO. So there's my caveat. If you have SIBO, don't use that. Oh, another thing I totally forgot to say was this has Saccharomyces boulardii in it. Why is that important? Have you re- read? Have you watched any of my videos on H. pylori? Saccharomyces boulardii can be super beneficial when you have H. pylori, which creates lots of problems. And lots of you have, mes- have messaged me about my H. pylori video. So this is a great one for that. It's really hard to find a probiotic blend with Saccharomyces boulardii. I also have found that Saccharomyces boulardii is very helpful for SIBO also. So win-win on that, except for you're not going to want to use it when you're actively treating your SIBO. But the Saccharomyces boulardii can help keep the H. pylori away and the SIBO away. So post-SIBO treatment, it's a good option. Now, um, I already talked about, I'm just going through my list here. I already talked about... Um, if you think you have SIBO, check out my other videos. My last video I posted on the channel, uh, I think it was like last month, was all about how you can check for SIBO at home with the food marble device. I don't think I have mine sitting here, but I've been using mine to test. And it can show you different foods and how much gas they produce in your system. So it's great to use that for checking different foods and for doing a SIBO challenge with some of the, the substrates you can order. So Check out that video too if you feel like you have SIBO and there is a a discount price for that. And you can just uh, send me an email, like I said in that video, or drop me a comment in the comments. So let's move on and um, talk about if you do have SIBO and you want a good blend that has the Saccharomyces boulardii in there and a lot of these other strains. There's one called orthobiotic, but you don't want the XOS yet. Like you're not ready to handle that. You're not ready to handle probiotic, but you are kind of on your SIBO journey and ready for, I mean, you're not ready to handle prebiotic, but if you're ready for a probiotic on your SIBO journey, I think ortho moleculars, orthobiotic is a great option. It is, you, they do recommend you refrigerate that. It doesn't have prebiotics in there and it does have a lot of these strains in the Saccharomyces boulardii. And I'll put a link to that 
in the description down below. So thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. As I've mentioned, please help this channel grow. Some ways you can do that, ordering the um, the SIBO book if you're interested. It's very affordable. It gives you my whole blueprint of how I treat my patients at my practice with SIBO. Also ordering through Fullscript. I have um, a link down below for the orthobiotic. That helps the channel. And then just sharing, liking, commenting, and all that. So I really, really appreciate your your support and your follow. And until next time, please be kind to yourself. Please be kind to the world around you. And I'll see you real soon. <music>